Let's talk about Trump, shall we? Now, I've already done a reaction to Trump getting elected video, but now we've had some time to really let Trump have his way with the presidency. And I don't really think I'm going too far out on a limb here when I say that the man has made a complete disgrace of everything that is to do with that institution. But more importantly than just generally being a disgrace is the fact that when we look at his cabinet, his, if you will, his deputies for handling the affairs of government. We see, first and foremost, I think, utter chaos. We see utter rampant chaos. I mean, look at Kellyanne Conway. Like, how off message has she been? How much trouble has she alone gotten the Trump administration in because she can't simply figure out what her job is. That alone should be frightening to people. One of his main spokespeople who's supposed to be talking for him and addressing the media can't even figure out what she's supposed to say or that, you know, more importantly, she can't figure out what she's supposed to say to keep her administration out of trouble. <laughs> Now, let's let's next look at Sean Spicer, huh? And before I really seriously talk about him, how about that SNL bit, right? Wasn't that pretty great? But let's talk about that SNL bit. What about it made it so funny was the fact that it was so on the nose, in my opinion. The fact that this guy is sitting here in front of a press conference basically trying to demand that the media report on things a certain way, that they stop asking questions about things, that they accept whatever he tells them as being true, and that, well, alternative facts. <laughs> I mean, need I say more on that, really? Just, the man is basically running a press conference like I would imagine a dictator to do so. Here's what you will report. This is your opinion on the matter. Thank you for following our guidance. Because we'll shoot you if you don't. <laughs> the way he barks at the media. And it's not just him. Let's move to Trump himself for a moment on this little topic of chaos, confusion, and the media, huh? Where, looking at Trump's rollout of his immigration ban, right? And how that got so quickly struck down and... It, we're still waiting for the revised version of it that's supposed to fix all of these problems, you know. I mean, really, though, he also came out and said that his executive order was fine, that the problem was a bad court. However, he was going to change his executive order to, you know, fit the bad court. Well, we're still waiting on that, aren't we? He said he was going to have it within a week. Oh, yeah, and what about the 30-day plan to destroy ISIS completely? None of this is being lived up to. For all those people out there that wanted, you know, draining the swamp and change and all of that, what about those picks again? Like, you know, got a bunch of Goldman Sachs people, a bunch of bankers, a bunch of lobbyists, a bunch of high wealth industrialists in his party who are quite literally the exact opposite of the message that he gave during his running campaign where he was going to fight against special interest. He was going to be the president from the outside. He wasn't going to be able to be bribed. Well, I mean, I guess that last part's true. You can't be bribed if you are already bought. <laughs> so maybe he was telling the truth there. You can't buy something you've already bought. But I don't think it's difficult to come to the conclusion that this has been a very big mistake. <laughs> that the election of Trump and what has happened since should serve as a dire political warning to people on the dangers of staying inattentive in the election process. If we can learn from this, if we can take from this travesty shit show a powerful lesson about civic duty and about becoming informed before voting, well then, maybe all of this will be worth a damn instead of just being a waste of our four years and an attack on everything that we should be holding dear. If we can make it more than that, boy, I would be happy. Because right now, what we have is a president basically declaring war on all of the institutions designed to protect the common American people from abuse and exploitation, which, correct me if I'm wrong, was why we elected Trump in the first place, was to stop all of that, right? Isn't that what everybody was talking about? Was how we were electing Trump because, well, you know, he's supposed to drain the swamp and he's supposed to fight for the common people? Well... 
if by common people you mean multi-millionaires, sure, he's right on the money. But I don't think that's what we meant. I don't think that's what he meant. And I don't think that's why the people who voted for him did what they did. Because I think they expected to get a champion of the regular people somehow. And... <sighs> As my final note here, I sort of take a Shatterfreudian pleasure, I must say, from the, all the people who voted for Trump, who were talking about, you know, oh yeah, screw the LGBT community, screw, you know, the black people, screw all the minorities, he, he's out for me. And all of a sudden, there's this outcry because Trump suddenly is hitting hard on legal weed. And now they're like, oh my God, Trump is so terrible, he, he's destroying our freedom. And everybody else over here, you know, all of us on the minority side that was threatened by, from the get-go are going, well, yeah, duh, welcome to the club. Oh, wait, except your thing is not a real threat to your entire life and existence. It took you losing some easy green for you to give a shit while people are dying over this. Quite frankly, you don't understand still the gravity of this discussion, the weight of what's happening. It's not your life and your identity that's being threatened. For all that I'm in support of legal weed, I'm not going to shed some tears over that particular battlefield while other people are fighting for the very freedoms that we take for granted, while other people are fighting for the basic protections that they should be able to enjoy as a matter of course. While people are fighting for all of that, your weed can take a fucking number.